Hey friend, would you like to learn how to start an online business for free? Hey, my name is Chris from ChrisAndGia.com and in this very exciting episode today, we're talking about exactly that, all right? How you can start an online business for free that will generate you a decent amount of passive income, all right? So what I'm gonna do is gonna share with you some step-by-step -step strategies that's gonna help you that took me a long time to learn, but when you finally implement them, they definitely work, all right? So if you're looking for a legitimate way to start an online business that will last and actually pay you passive income and stick around for that. So hey, welcome back. Hey, if you don't know, this channel is all about the home business entrepreneur you, all right, and empowering you with the mindset and the marketing skill sets to get the results you're looking for, make more money, and finally drive that breakthrough you deserve, all right? So if you like that type of content, online marketing, make money online, passive income, residual income, then hey, consider giving this video a like, all right? Consider subscribing to the channel, and don't forget the bell too, so you can be notified whenever I drop new videos around online business, business strategies, marketing, which is pretty much on a Monday through Friday daily basis right now. So with that being said, let's get right, right down into it, all right? So how to start an online business for free that will generate you 500 a thousand well over a decent amount of passive income long term, all right, if done properly, all right? So step one starts with start by solving problems, okay? This is probably the biggest step that most people ignore, that I know I ignored as well. And it starts by solving problems. You see, the way you make money online or in any format is by solving problems, solving challenges that people are having. You know, it, it, you start waking up and, and, and start noticing that people are complaining. Right. Listen to the complaints that people are having. People, when people say, hey, "I hate this," or "This is so annoying," or "This is so frustrating," or "Why is this that way?" Right. You want to pay attention to that type of stuff now. Stop being the one complaining yourself and start asking, "Well, hmm, what is it they're complaining about? Is there an answer for it? Can I find a way to improve on it?" I think one of the biggest things that a lot of people forget is that, and I learned this from a, a gentleman. His name is M.J. DeMarco. He has a great book about, um, you know, the fa I think it's the Fast Lane. I can't remember how what it's called, but he talks about the fact that people think that they always have to come up with a brand new idea to get rich. And most of the time, most of the time, there is not new ideas that make people rich, but rather the improvement of ideas, improvement of certain standards already in a way that nobody had already thought about that makes it easier, more simple, and more enjoyable for people to enjoy whatever it is that they were doing. So really, Either you, either it comes down to either you're gonna to make the most money online in your online business for it to actually be successful and generate passive income, right? Means that you're either gonna want do one of two things. You're gonna solve more people's problems, right? So you're gonna solve little problems for a whole lot of people, or you're gonna solve bigger problems, like really big problems, right? And so let me give you a few examples that can help you. For example, I was recently approached by a gentleman that is part, part of this uh, co company, this software tool right here, it's called Flick, all right? So essentially what it is, it's like they use, they help you find the right hashtags if you're doing Instagram marketing, right? So if you've ever done Instagram, you probably notice this problem is that you gotta come up with hashtags and you gotta come up with a bunch of them and find them and put them in your, in your post and, and if you don't, because that's how people find you and stuff like that. And it's kind of tedious and uh, boring and just kind of sucks. Well, what this guy did, him and his team, they decided to solve that problem and they created Flick, all right? And it basically is a tool that allows you to search, select, and then post the, the hashtags that are best for your particular topic or niche or whatever that you're trying to do, all right? And so they, you know, the whole idea is to help make your life easier, right? They start by stop spending hours doing research so they're making life easier for you. Attract your audience. They're improving your business results, right? And then guess what? Make more sales and leads. So this is a perfect example of someone who found a problem and decided to solve it. Let me give you another example. If you're not familiar with uh, Pat Flynn, I'm a big fan of his. A lot of these ideas I got from him, to be honest. And he has a website called Food Trucker. Food Trucker was an idea. He, not in, he doesn't even have a food truck business, by the way. But he realized that there was a problem. 
There's a lot of people who want to start a food truck business, but they don't know how to. There's no information online. There's no resources. There's no training. There's no step-by-step -step guides. There's nothing. And he noticed that. So he decided to create an entire website dedicated, dedicated to people who are food truck owners. You see what I'm saying? You, the amount of income he generates from this after having created this niche website is tremendous. And it's all passive income, by the way. Okay, It keeps on coming every single month, regardless of how much work he puts in anymore. Because he solved a bigger problem. You see what I'm saying? He solved a bigger problem. So this is an example of how you can start an online business. It's just searching for problems that people are having and start and bring a solution to it. Even if you're not involved in it, you can do all the research in it and present it so that it helps people. Step two then is to create content that solves that problem, right? And the only three, there's three good, really good ways you can do that, right? You do the research, you find it, and you collect the research and information that helps people in this particular problem. You can do it in the form or of a niche website. So, you know, uh, this food trucker is just another example, it's the same example of that, right? You can create an entire niche site. The entire site is nothing but helping food truckers. Right, it's incredibly leveraged because people will find it through SEO, through search, and your people will buy his books and buy his content and his training, and he'll make passive income continuously forever as long as there are people looking for food trucks. Right? Another example that you could do is you can create courses. So you could go to Udemy, for example. They're a great place to like learn how to create courses, upload your courses so that people can find you. Let's say you know that people have a problem with video editing. Well, guess what? You could probably come in here, find a really good course on video editing. So for example, this one that's got 4.6 ratings, right? You can check out the course and see what, what it's about. It's like, well, you know, typically $200, but you can find it on sale to get it like maybe 10 bucks, right? and learn how to do that and then turn around and create your own course. Well, Chris, I don't know how to create a course. Well, you to me, we'll show you how to do that. Like how to, you can, you know, come in here and say how to create a course and you to me will have courses on how to create online courses. All right. You see, so you can definitely find it on here. All you need to do is just do the work. You got to put in the work. Like You're going to generate $500, $1,000, $10,000 of passive income per month online. It's going to require some work, a lot of work up front. But guess what? Once the work is done, right, you're going to enjoy the fruits of your labor forever. Your children, children can enjoy this forever. All right. Another idea is, if not a niche website or a course, you can just create an ebook. That's probably one of the easiest ways, right? So you can. Here's an example of an ebook I created, right? I realized that people struggled doing Facebook Live videos. That was a problem, for, especially for home business entrepreneurs. So I said, guess what? Here's an ebook on how I generated 250 plus leads using Facebook Live, and here how you can do it, even if you've never done one before. Now, I don't sell this ebook, but I bet I could, right? I give it away as a lead magnet, but this is just an example of how you could do the same thing. Well, Chris, I don't know how to create an ebook. Stop right there. I know what you're going to say. I already knew that. So here's an example. You can either learn how to create, create one using Canva. Canva is a website where you can create ebooks for free. Or you can come to Fiverr, and while this is going to cost you money, you can pay someone to create an ebook for you. Like literally, you can come here and be like ebook um, writer. You can look for an ebook writer, right, and find someone who writes ebooks. You know, search through the listings here, look for someone who has some good ratings and whatnot, and basically hire them to write ebooks for you. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's really just that simple, right? Then, so what's next? After you've identified a problem and you create content around that problem and you've researched it and create content that solved the problem, step three, to promote your content, right? So you want to promote it. Now, if you're going to do, if you're, gonna, if you're trying to start an online business for free that, 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 that generates you passive income, that means you're promoting your content, you're looking for free strategies, then there are a lot of those that you can find. One of my favorite ones right now is LinkedIn. So here's, if you come to LinkedIn, you can create a whole LinkedIn profile and it's kind of like a social media page for professionals and it's a really good way to find quality prospects which is what I'm loving right now. I'm also using it for my videos 
and you can literally create a profile here and come in here and create a post or an article. So if you like click on here, it'll like take you to start writing a new article, and it's almost like blog posts. You like, I mean, they're literally just like blog posts. They rank on Google, they get seen by people on the platform, and you can put links in here, you can put pictures. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff that is just the same way. This is a great way to promote for free using LinkedIn. Another way, free way that I do like is YouTube obviously I just love YouTube it's a great way to promote especially if you're gonna use videos you just might as well so you can come on here and create a free YouTube uh, Google account could start up your YouTube channel for free and then start posting video content and within your video content you can always have links to your offer right so I mean with these strategies you gotta remember you can't uh, try to sell people straight up on your thing you gonna have to create content or create a, a, a reason a, con a, a content around the reasons why people would want it right for example so I mean if someone is looking for you know Instagram traffic he's not gonna come in here and promote talk, talk about Instagram traffic he might create a post about hey you know three ways to like you know optimize your Instagram post and he'll blah 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 one two three and then oh by the way you might want to check out my free tool that shows that helps you find hashtags for like really fast in minutes that are highly competitive you see you see what I did there like you gotta you gotta pro, you have to start off with content in order to do the thing first before you pr pr present people with the thing another idea is if you're doing ebooks for example um, a great way to promote ebooks for free is shoot Amazon Kindle so you just come to kdp.com I mean kdp.amazon.com and you can come here and publish your ebooks pretty much for free <laughs> right for free and I mean you get like millions and millions of like of exposure on Amazon's network and you basically can get 70% royalty on the sales as well so I mean it's just a great free way in addition to the other strategies if you're using ebooks it's a great way to make some extra money if you don't know how to do um, write ebooks in a, in a really good way to sell them on Amazon Kindle here's a good course that I checked out that's really awesome by this cat uh, Stefan Stefan James um, uh, Stephen James, he's a really popular guy, really successful internet marketer that created, made a lot of money just selling ebooks on Amazon. And he has an entire course. If you want to access to that, uh, you, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. But essentially, you're promoting your content. These are free strategies. So the thing is that you know they may take a little bit longer for you to do. But if you have some money, I do encourage you to consider advertising. It's a great way to accelerate your growth. Um, you don't have to, but I'm just saying, all right? So here's a, when it comes to promoting, remember, one of the big things to remember is that, and I learned this from Pat Flynn, is that, hey, you want to come off as being an authority and leader. You know, you want to start off being a leader, not so much a guru, right? What's the difference? I think the difference is that a leader is someone who's doing the do and telling people what they're doing and helping people and doing the same thing. A guru is kind of like telling you, but not doing what they tell you they say that they do, you know? And so I think of being a leader means that you're actively doing it. You're actively creating content. You're actively promoting. You're actively do running ads or whatever you're doing, connecting with people. You know, that's another way to promote. It's just connect with people for free. You can connect with people and start talking to them and sharing your um, listening, having conversations and sharing your sharing your product or whatever it is you created to them that helps them, especially the beginner. Another two, number two is that you can, and I've seen this strategy and it works really well. You can just admit that you're a beginner you know it's okay you know most people are beginners you know and most beginners will relate more with other beginners you know and just being honest with that it's like dude I'm just getting started you know I want to start an online business for the following reasons for my family for my finances whatever the case may be and I say hey, you want to come on a journey cool if you don't go too, right and it's just kind of like Hey, telling people, being honest and transparent with people, I think goes a whole long way. All right. And then that's pretty much it, my friend. Hope you got value from that. Hope that was helpful. All right. Did you take anything from this? Hey, I hope you did. All right. I hope you did. Hope it was valuable. That right there is a step-by-step -step strategy on how you can start an online business for free. Start generating passive income. Is that all there is to it? No, there's obviously like a whole lot of details. But in my opinion, that's the meat. That's the me. You start with that. Everything else will work its way with you. Start with that and you will find the success and the passive income and the freedom that you desire. All right. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, question of the day. 
What are you doing right now? What is your favorite strategy right now that you're using on your in your online business to promote and how do you feel like it's working for you? Hey, leave that in the comment section below, all right? So that's it, my friend. If you enjoyed this video, hey, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And oh, by the way, if you want to know my number one recommended way to help you start an online business and make money online, hey, I'll leave that link in the description below so you can get access to that, all right? So until the next exciting episode, my friend, be blessed, stay hungry. i see you on the next one. Peace.